My name is Schlatt, and I'm a communist. And I'm joined today by Hassan Piker, who's a cold-blooded capitalist. Hassan, when did you become such a partisan hack? As a matter of fact, Schlatt, I take offense to that. I'm not a partisan hack unless the party that you're speaking of is freedom. Because I will be defending capitalism, the best economic organization of society that has ever been invented oh in the history of Here mankind. Goes already. But you wouldn't know anything about that because you're a dirty commie. I guess I wouldn't know anything about fashion either because holy shit. I mean, look at look at what you're wearing. My God, this is made by uh, chinchillas that uh, Indonesian children hunted. What the f is going? Okay, let's rewind for a little bit. What made you get into capitalism, dude? What, I mean, this is this is a switch for you. I saw you on stream a couple months ago, and you were singing a whole different tune. Uh, what made me get into it is it's called George Washington. Have you heard George of George Washington? Got you in. Yeah. Can I tell you who the f got me into communism? A little guy by the name of Karl Marx. Yeah, he was he was lame. Was it Communist Manifesto? And I got real into it. And then I actually was like, this is so good that I'm going to look into what else he wrote. What, what, what else did he write? He wrote he wrote some other shit. I, I don't even think I could talk about it. Yeah, of course. Of course you can't talk about it because you love censorship. That's no, what I don't. Love. No, I don't. I tell you what, I love. I love. I love equality. I don't think. I don't think people should be wearing one. One of one chinchilla hunted bandanas. Whatever the fuck Why that not? is. You look because you look stupid in it. I have the freedom to look as dumb as I would like. This shit was mass produced. This shit came out of a factory, and everyone can get one of these. It's affordably priced. It's got the Yankees logo on it. The best baseball team of all time. And also, look at this. Look at this. It's my favorite communist on it. Barack Obama. Yeah, that's right. He is. He, Barack Obama is definitely a communist, but also the factory conditions that you are speaking of are no different than the one of one uh, Indonesian child uh, chinchilla. Nah, nah. Farmer. My my employees are they they're paid well. Unlike your fucking editor who scratches around for little pennies on this on the sidewalk, he picks up little pennies. It's called opportunity. My editor is not coerced to be working uh, for me. My editor could be working for it. Anyone as a what are you looking up there for? What are you looking up there? Are you looking at your talking points? Oh wow, you're you're moving the conversation. You away brought from help. The you brought help, didn't you? You you're looking up no, there. That's where my my uh, camera is. Oh, so you're just so. I'm just looking at myself. <laughs> I'm looking at myself because I feel like I'm owning you so hard. I'm like, am I looking good while I? You're not I owning me. Let me list you a couple things that are going on right now in the United States of America. You got people dying on the streets. Okay, you got housing completely unaffordable. I could only buy two houses last year. You got fucking Dr. Fauci running around still. The fuck is going on with that? Dr. Fauci's a communist, so I think we agree that he's bad. Uh, no, know, no, he's great. I love Dr. Fauci running around. All I'm going to say is Dr. Fauci, you know who he works with? Who? Communist China. That's right. Good. Yeah. Is that why you like him? Yeah. Because he works with communist China? Ta! Ah! Yeah, that's ah! right. That's ah, right. Look at Dr. Ah, Fauci right there. Get him away. He's get him away. I, I didn't want to see he's him. You got to stay that. six feet away. Look, it I comes off. I hate that guy. <laughs> I hate that guy so much. He took his mask off. No, I, I'll put it back on. Don't worry. Don't worry. Well, I will say this much to you. Mm -hmm. You got your Dr. Fauci toy. You want to know what kind of toys I like to play with? This one. This. Exactly. Capitalism is so good that every single child could dump hot lead if they wanted to. How do you think the communists started? The fucking revolution, Hassan? What did, what did a bunch of people have to get control over the government? They had these, motherfucker. They had guns, okay? Yeah, and then, you know what this they is, did? This is, the, this is what gives people power, motherfucker. Or this maybe is what it does. the reason why we have armed our entire population is so that we can make sure that Nancy Pelosi with her big old titties don't Whoa. come around and try to, bring, try to bring communism to this goddamn country. That's right. That's why all the patriots have the guns. None of you communist pussies have That's guns. That's enough. Let's talk about your house. Okay. $2.74 million house. I checked it recently. As a matter of fact, it's gone up in price because the housing market is unsustainable here in California. Exactly. And I love that. Exactly. Why do you love that? Why do you love people not being able to buy houses? Oh, I'm sorry. 55% of Californians actually own their own homes. You want to tell those hardworking mom and pop landlords that, oh, sorry, the value of your price went down. Why? Because Gavin Newsom, a communist, by the way, decided to control the housing market through scary government intervention. Seems like the free market is actually you very keep prosperous. just fucking going. Oh, my God. Yeah. How can you say so little in, in this amount of words? It's like you're hooked right up to a fucking septic tank. My God. I looked up your house. I looked up your house on the internet, Hassan. I saw some pictures of 
I saw some pictures of your house. It's a nice house. It's got a swimming pool. Yeah, that's right. My house is only a million dollars. Why can't mine be more? Uh, well, you know, currently I think there's too much landmass in Texas and, and uh, there's probably more areas to develop, but don't worry. You're, the price of your place is probably going up soon too because some goddamn commies are leaving California to go to Texas where there's actual freedom. It's kind of weird that you're you're sitting there in Texas talking about, you know, uh, how much you love communism. Meanwhile, you literally live in the, the freest state in America. How about we switch then? How about, okay, I got a plan. You come you come to Texas, you live in my house, uh -huh. and then I will go to California and I'll live in yours. Well, here's the thing. I like to live as a capitalist in the- Stop looking at yourself. That's so, that's so weird. I, You're just like staring at yourself as you talk. I like to live- well, there's cameras everywhere. I'm just like looking at, uh, I like to look at different things. I have ADHD. Okay, right. Don't focus on that because you're losing the argument, sir. I'm not losing. I just think it's weird that you're looking straight at yourself while you're talking. I mean, everybody does that. No, you're just saying that to make yourself feel better. You want to know why I live in California? Why? Because I'm doing fifth column style infiltration. That's right. Every single day out here, I'm talking to people who are also communists and I'm telling them you're wrong. And uh, capitalism is the way forward. I've converted so many people. Oh, okay. So you're you're doing work. Yeah, I'm doing good work. Yeah. So why are they leaving then? Uh, people are leaving California because communism is awful. And they hate the communism that's happening in California. That's why they're leaving and going to Texas by the thousands, by the millions, as a matter of fact. Are they leaving by millions? No. Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> Yes, of course they are. What do you mean? <laughs> How about you go outside, Hassan, and you mm -hmm. go outside and you make a little right turn or a left turn or go straight and you look at the walls uh, and, 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 and streets full of homeless people in California and you tell them that they don't deserve housing, that they don't deserve a good life like you have. As a matter of fact, I do that every day. Why? Because I want them to grind harder. Because when I see a homeless person, I think, well, here's an opportunity for me to film them and make some money. But also... That I can pay them an exposure when I film them for my TikToks, okay? When I do an act of kindness to them, right? That's a, so, that's terrible. It's a mutually beneficial situation. I don't know what you're talking that's about. That's terrible. This is a, that's a terrible thing you just said. You think it's terrible to give homeless people money? Wow. Yeah. Typical commie talks a big game about redistribution. Yeah, I bet you go to a restaurant and give someone a fucking company car with a Feastables logo on that. You think she wants that? Oh, oh, hell yeah. You think she wants that? Why does she want that? She does want that. No, she doesn't. Yeah, go ahead and tell... A minimum wage worker, a hard worker, as a matter of fact, that, you know, sorry, you got to keep taking the bus, sweaty, because this commie thought that it was unacceptable that you're driving in a fucking Feastables car. Listen, this is because we have such a, such a, we place such an importance on cars in this country when every single perfect country out in Europe and in Scandinavia, especially, they have a robust Public transportation systems. Yeah, disgusting. Uh, I'm you mean sorry. mean disgusting? It's not disgusting. It's beautiful. Uh, no, it's not. I love when I get on a bus, Hassan, and there's a crazy person sitting next to me. I think, wow, I'm seeing how the other side lives. That's that's fun for me. It's like a, I feel like I'm in the thick of it. It's it's exciting. And don't you think that this is just a bit more efficient moving people, hundreds of people in a tiny area? Uh, as a matter of fact, it's called freedom. Like I said, you should look it up in the dictionary. But you're about efficiency. Are you not about efficiency, about about finding the, the best way? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I am. And cars are significantly more efficient than buses, which, by the way, checkmate, bus, also a car, schlatt. That's right. It's just an uglier one. What the fuck are you talking about? You, yeah, you would know what I'm talking about if you knew anything about freedom. Today's episode of Ditch Lat Win is sponsored by Manscaped, the global men's lifestyle brand that is now disrupting the beard market. You guys know I'm a big fan of Manscaped. I've been using their products for years, and now they are back with the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Everything you need to keep your beard nice and clean. The Beard Hedger Trimmer has a powerful motor and a titanium-coated T-blade that can cut through the thickest of hair. It's cordless, it's rechargeable, and it's waterproof, so you can trim your beard wherever you want, even in inclement weather. Now when you're taking care of your upstairs, don't forget to take care of your downstairs 
Upstairs 2 with the waterproof Lawnmower 4.0. Manscaped's got you covered from head to toe with beard shampoo, conditioner, oil, balm, and even a little travel case. You can get 20% off all Manscaped products, including the new Beard Hedger Pro Kit and free shipping when you use my code DSW or just click the link in the description. That's code DSW. Boys, it's time to join the 8 million men who already trust Manscaped daily. Thank you so much to Manscaped for sponsoring today's episode and enjoy. I'm 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 confused. I mean, you seem to be dodging my argument about oh, public transportation argument? being a more efficient way to move oh, people. Absolutely not. How America. is it not? You just said a bus is a car. That's all <laughs> yeah. you said. Yeah. Which again, checkmate. A bus is a car, is it not? <laughs> this is not checkmate. And why are you saying it checkmate? A bus is a car is just an uglier car. And yeah, cars are better. Like other kinds of cars that let you only have four people, sometimes two, which I have many of, by the way. You know, I I, I specifically will buy cars that only have two, uh, you know, two seats in them, so I can you know, I can grind harder, I can destroy the planet more. This is so immoral, and yet I have no idea how to. I have no idea yeah, you don't know how to counter it, do you? Yeah, that's I don't right. know. A it's bus because... is a car. This is, I guess, man. Is it not? It's a big car. You gonna talk about trains? Also, car. No. Trains? Really? I categorically, is that what you're say? categorically reject that notion that a train is a car. Yeah, it's way worse. Trains have cars. Tra a one big train has a bunch of different cars in it. Yeah. It's a totally yeah. different definition, though. These cars don't drive themselves. And it's way worse. Try to go to a drive through with a train, okay? You can't. Exactly. Checkmate times two. I'm not even looking at you anymore. I'm looking away. Am I losing this? How am I losing this? This is the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Because capitalism is the greatest system of all time. Okay. Let's switch gears a little bit. You want to talk about cars? But let's, let's put it in reverse. <laughs> Good one. Let's talk about net worth. All right. I did some research online. Bill Gates, $110 billion of net worth. Jeff Bezos, I looked this up, $125 billion. Used to be more until that bitch took half. Yeah. Hassan Piker. Finty.com reports you have four million dollars. <laughs> yeah, I I need to grind harder. Are you saying you, you have more? <laughs> why'd you why'd you put it why'd you put me next to those two? Those are my idols. I love them. Do you think that Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos did all that work? Do you think he, he did a hundred and twenty five billion dollars worth of work? Uh yes, he worked harder, but also he worked smarter. Bill Gates made Windows 8. That was a that was the stupidest fucking product I've ever had to deal with. Well, without it, without Windows, you wouldn't have a computer. I'm running Linux right now. My CPU is hot, but my core runs cold. Between 17 lines of code. That is the real communist operating system. You need to you need to run code to turn it on. It is. It's open source. Anyone can use it. It's free, Hassan. Yeah. You don't need professional. You don't need a fucking license that you have to pirate. Everything's just available as it should be. Yeah, except that's why it's unintuitive and incredibly difficult to work, just like communism. It might be good in theory. Oh, everybody gets a Windows. Everybody gets an operating system. It's going to be great. Turns out, if that was the case, nobody would be able to even use it. And that is actually the main problem I have with communism. It sounds good. It sounds great. Oh, everyone can be rich. Not everyone can be rich, especially when those lazy people who simply don't want to work hard are going to take advantage of hard workers like myself, the, the real jobs providers. Shut the fuck up. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. What do you mean? You're awful, man. I mean, you. of course you hate me because you're fucking, because you're a communist. I watch your stream sometimes. You make, you have $4 million in the bank from Finty.com. That's what they report. $4 million in the bank. And all you do is watch videos. It's the stupidest yeah. fucking thing I've ever seen. You, what do you watch? Like car? You watch like car chases now. Yeah. Imagine if all those people were on a bus, you wouldn't be watching shit. Bus is just a cooler car. Exactly. You just proved my point Here's for me. Here's what you do. Here's what you do, Hassan. You put on you put on content that the proletariat make, and then you watch and you fucking you say fucking nothing, and then you get all the profit. How many subs do you have? Fifty thousand? Seventy thousand. That's way too many. Uh -huh. Exactly. That's what you would think. Except I, on the other hand, deserve it. No, you don't. You do yes, not I do. do. I worked hard. You do not make. You do not do enough work to justify <laughs> seventy thousand subscribers on Twitch. Yeah. Well, guess what? People like how I uh, end up changing the dynamic of the content by making sweet 
sweet capitalist arguments as to why this content, half the time I'm looking at communist stuff, ew, yuck, is wrong and immoral and shouldn't be taught to children. Like sharing is caring, a concept that I think is laughable. What did the French invent that shit? It's disgusting. The more I hear you talk, the more I want to come to your house and f <laughs> Well, guess what? I have turrets outside of my you apartment. Have turrets. You have, I have, you I have, have turrets? Yeah. I have I have auto turrets outside of my house. Let me show you something. Let me show okay. you something. I'll send you a photo, okay? Boom. You seeing that? See that? That's Austin. Nice. 101 degrees. Sunny. Yeah. You see that you see that you see the 10 day forecast? 103 high? 104, 104, 104, 103, 103, 103, 103. I took that photo a year and a half ago when it got really hot. Isn't that fucked up? This is what global warming is doing. This is because of people like you spewing out carbon fossil fuels. And you're turning the climate into something that's uninhabitable. Wow. It, of course, it's not surprising to me that the communist would bring up the falsehood of falsehood. global warming. Falsehood. Of course, it's a Chinese conspiracy. I've heard Everybody so many that. arguments that say this is real. Okay. Here's a counter to you uh, 25 people died in Buffalo under uh, heavy snowfall. Uh, doesn't seem like the globe, it doesn't seem like the climate's warming too much, is it? Yeah, go tell that to the people of Buffalo. I guess you couldn't because they're buried under snow. Exactly. Yeah. And if the climate was warming, which it definitely is not, perhaps it would be better for colder areas. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm sorry that you get to sit in your capitalist-created car with the AC that the capitalists invented, and then you uh, you know, look at your phone. An iPhone, by the way, I can see it. Your screenshot implies it's iPhone. Clear another invention by capitalists. Oh no, I'm in a capitalist world. I have to consume capitalist products. It's not like I can buy buy fucking Soviet phone five over here. Yeah, how about how about you live by your values? Is this too hard? Oh, I'm sorry. How about you say that to the Zapatistas? What am I supposed to get? Am I supposed to get a am I supposed to get a fucking Moto G? You're supposed to do a revolution now. That's how this works. I haven't rallied the masses yet. I need to I need more I need to beat you in this debate. Yeah. Where people will vote at digslatwin.com yeah, and at digslatwin on Twitter. Once I get enough people to vote for my side, the communist side, that is when I think the, the revolution begins. I think it starts with me. It's not even a communist principle to think that a one man could create or bring about a revolution, sir. I want to go back to this argument about the house. Okay. Two point seven four million dollars. Excuse me, sir. It's it's higher now. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I haven't checked his estimate recently. Five five million. Five million. It doubled. Maybe doubled in value. Some might look at that and say, "Wow, it seems like the housing market is fundamentally broken. That a house value could go up so dramatically over the course of two years." I say to that, I would say that. Uh, yeah, you would say that. I would. To that, I would say you just hate freedom. Why do you need four beds and three and a half baths in this house? I looked up the floor plan. Why do you need that? Why do you need a full pool? Who who has a pool in their bed? It's just it's just it's unnecessary. I don't even use it. You don't even use the pool. You don't even use the pool. I just look at it because I can. That's fucked up. What I mean, what else do you do with your money? This is uh, obviously you spend it on shit you don't need. Mm -hmm. I bet you put it in index funds and it appreciates at a 10% rate per year. All the time. So fucked. I'm doing tax evasion, which I like to call tax avoidance, which is, of course, legal. Invest in defense contractors. Like, those guys are always getting money from the government. I mean, they, they do a great job. You know what they do? What? They look at American freedom and say, why not other countries also have similar freedoms and they drop bombs of freedom on other countries to liberate them. They drop bombs on innocent people. No, not innocence. innocent. Yes, innocence. Those are people living their lives. America has never killed someone who didn't deserve it. <gasps> Look up this guy. You want to see something funny? Look up Obama. Kunduz Hospital. How about that? Yeah. You know that, you know that hospital? You know that hospital he blew up? You know why he blew it up? Why'd he blow it up? The doctors in there were Italian and French. Ew. Doctors Without Borders, that's some communist propaganda. How about we have some border security? Let me tell you what I do. I donate all my money. Uh-huh. All my millions that I make, Great. I donate all of it. Oh, you're, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. So you claim to be a socialist? Yeah, not communist. You claim to be a communist and yet you make millions of dollars? I give it away to the people. <laughs> I give it away to the that's people. That's crazy. My house is even... only a million. Oh, yeah? Your house is only my a million? My house is only a million. My... How many homeless people have you opened your door up and there's to? There's only one bedroom. Well, that one bedroom... 
in your million dollar house, which is so expensive. I bet you paid more for it specifically so you could beef up the housing market, make nope. it even worse and no. make it more. That was the lowest price because it's so fucked up over here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know enough about Texas housing market. Exactly. Like, you don't know you don't know enough about anything. You know what I do know though? What do you know? Communism means no house. Uh, you look real cool saying that. You look real cool saying that. Thank you. I donate all my money. Yeah, you know you know what you donated to the house fund. No, I didn't. I donate Cars for kids. You know those commercials? One eight seven seven cars for kids. I do not. K A R S cars for kids. Uh huh. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. I don't. I buy a car every month, and then at the end of the month, I donate it to cars for kids. <laughs> wow. I donate to Susan G. Komen for a cure. Also capitalist, by the way. No. Yes. They're a great charity. No, they five hundred one C threes are run by. CEOs that make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Susan G. Coma being a, a primary example of this. Whose side are you on? Well, I, I think that that's great. Fuck. <laughs> and I like that. You know why? I got you, motherfucker. Because they have to. I knew this guy. Because they have to. They work hard. CEOs work so hard in this country. And mm -hmm. Susan G. Komen mm -hmm. wants to make sure that they have the best talent. You know what I just did, Hassan? What? I just showed you true colors. <laughs> I know what you are. I don't know what you're talking about. I love capitalism. I got you I got you on my side right there for a second. I, love, I, I love saw capitalism. a little glimpse of something of something beautiful. I saw a glimpse of Kami in there. No, absolutely not. Oh yeah. First of all, philanthropies are capitalists, though. What do I mean by this? It's wonderful capitalists like yourself, secretly, who have made a lot of money, who want to give some of it back to the people who deserve it. Why? Because the government doesn't know how to distribute it. When the government distributes those funds, who do they give it to? I don't know. They're friends. Are you done? 